All right, check this shit out. Oh shit, we're riding into it. I love it. All right, this, these two chicks, right? Is that the same chick? I've been friends since they were children. Oh shit. Oh, cool. I like a good story. Right? Yeah. They're best friends since elementary school. Well, something crazy happened. Oh, I was like, what? They said, and it's they were They fought over a man. No. <laughs> oh. They're the same chick, and she's pretending to be a Native American. <laughs> <laughs> For real? <laughs> so she's so, so she's Rachel Pocahontas saw? Yeah. 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 Yep. <laughs> Big time. Big time, huge time, dude. So she is a um, Madison indigenous arts leader. And she has been revealed as just a white lady. Um, Why? Early in 2020. What if she identifies with one? Is that okay? An indigenous yeah. artist urged the owners of a new music venue in town to change its name. It was called the Winnebago. After the street on which it stands, many indigenous people and allies let the owners know it wasn't the best name for a white owned music venue. One of them I was. Winnebago means RV or something. <laughs> it's like a mini. A mini motorhome, no yeah. Oh. That's pretty white, dude, isn't it? Oh, shit, I thought what a big was a white term. My I thought bad. that was theirs, yeah. My bad, dude. I thought it was yours, Steve. So it took months, right? And then the venue's like, fuck it, we give up. All right, well, we're gonna rebrand re as the Burr Oak. And then That's um, way lamer. And then this person's like, That's way more white. I'm glad <laughs> the owners have decided no, to no longer profit from the identities of indigenous peoples. I'm glad the name is going, but I'm not happy the institution's allowed to be stolen in the first place. Blah, 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 blah. That's this chick? Yeah. Yes. And then um, they the problem with it is of course she's just some white lady bitching about shit again, <laughs> and and Fucking and. She was also <laughs> profiting from the identities of indigenous people what? with this fucking job, dude. Oh no. Yo, what? Why? You know, white ladies have single-handedly stole the whole like minority movement shit. That was like, now nobody's talking about like what's happening to black, Asian, or nothing. Now it's all non-binary white ladies that's fucking at the front of the straight gate. I'm like, man, why? Stay out of this shit! What do, you, what do you think it is? Do you think- they didn't have attention anymore. Do you think it's because their heart's in a good place and they just No, wanna... but thanks to them, our generation went from like impoverished with the odds against them to being privileged in one generation. It's really not impressive. Bad. Bad. You know, um, well, I think it was Bill Burr that was like, yo, you've been by our side the whole fucking time. Don't be ditching us now. Yeah, he's talking about white men and white women. <laughs> he's like, don't act like you guys You've been benefiting from this shit the whole time. And then all of a sudden, now you're discriminated against? Now you want to jump down our foot? So yeah, this chick is kind of a big C, as they say. Uh, Kunt. Chino. Kunt, yeah, she's a big Chino. A raccoon. How does, what's the, um, so like, when this happens, is none of the fault to the people that should be vetting her a little bit? <laughs> oh, you, I mean, you'd think, right? Right. How you good is it? outfit, it looks so good. Like, you oh, can't God. even go to a Filipino Christian church without everyone gossiping about whether or not you really are Filipino, even yeah. if you're Cambodian. Are you how do you get to this level? <laughs> I know, how did she infiltrate? Yeah. Like, how do you get unnoticed yet noticed? But also too, I feel like this group that she's in is probably like five people. So the fact that she's willing and like, yo, I'm down for the cause, I wanna help, I wanna like, do all cool. this. Yeah, they're like, come on down. They're like, we know she's white, but she's still 20% of our population. <laughs> or she's gonna do all the work. You know what it also could be is that in this day and age, it's offensive to ask mm -hmm. for verification. But then, well, sure. when I was like in Oklahoma and I met some white kids that had native status, like they had those native cards and oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember that one yeah. kid? I was like, they're all laughing about it because he was a part of an Asian club. And they're like, hey, guess what? This guy's, he gets like uh, free schooling, all this stuff because he's native. And I'm like, really? You, you look white. A and lot it, of the whites there have like a splash of like. Yeah, so there, if you have a percentage right. out there, it's considered like you get all the benefits and uh, stuff. Okay. So it might be one of those cases where they just didn't question. They're just like. But what if like they had that small percentage because like their forefathers were doing some shady stuff with yeah, them, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, she can't oh, she's like that. zero. She's like, what? <laughs> you know that's what I'm like saying? Randy like, Marsh. Oh, you, you got privilege because it's in your Marsh. blood, but uh, that's only because, yeah, your ancestors were like, you know, kind of pillaging and or plundering. who's yeah. hiring? Who's hiring? Because if it's a bunch of white ladies hiring, and then she comes in dressed <laughs> like that, and she's, and they're like, wow, she does have a pretty good looking drum. She's enthusiastic. <laughs> she, got a, she got a convincing, hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. That's a yeah. nice buffalo hide. Come yeah. on in. Can you shake your feathers a little bit? Well, that's good <laughs> that's enough to me. Hey, how are you? Well, she does wear moccasins. Yeah. Exactly. That's it. 
Because then they're gonna stereotype. They're gonna use all those stereotypes and be like, "She's fucking high." It's just nuts that like you get. You see these like different programs that do such a bad job background checking, and then you remember times where like you didn't get a job at Sunglass Hut, and you're like. <laughs> And she got this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like well, I mean, one, think uh, about how Rachel Doles all got in. <laughs> how did she? I did. <laughs> I mean, no one questioned her blackness, because no. she was kind of black passing. So in this case... Black passing? She, look, like, she's... <laughs> after the after she dyed her skin <laughs> and got curly hair. <laughs> turn it around, like, turn it around. If she's not, if she's not looking like Dawson's well, Creek... it's kind of in her favor, like, heavily for each one. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's in that <laughs> low like, auditorium. One's, like, blown like, out, and the yeah, other's, like, a, a dimly lit Yeah, it's like an auditorium, hall. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she knew what she did. Like... <laughs> yeah, dude. If she, okay, uh, the girl on the right, First like... Well, who would you make? The girl on the right. But if she not if, the one on the left, no. The girl on the right does look a little better. I don't know why. It's the yeah, same. I, I, I like the dark eye makeup. I like it. Yeah, she looks sexier. The one on the left looks like she don't have fun. Okay, so like <laughs> the girl on the right. She's a complainer. Yeah. The girl on the right. She looks pretty dang indigenous. Like, really? like, remove the clothes, but like, just skin. Remove like, the clothes. Remove the clothes. Please. Okay. She she has has I see a naked chick. <laughs> she has yeah. thick brown eyebrows. She's yeah, native. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the know. thing is like, we're just never in the position to question someone like that. Like, you, you guys see that video of the. Uh, of Doesn't the black she chick? look like she could pass Filipino to you? Yeah. Anything. Not she could Filipino. be anything. She could be a Mexican chick. She, could, she could be a lot of. You guys remember the, She looks the, like she could be Kalila's sister. Yeah, for real. For all real. right, go ahead. No, I don't want to talk anymore. Say it. <laughs> the fucking video of the black chick who fucking snuck her way into the police department to be a trans or a speech yeah, translator yeah. or whatever. <laughs> I was yeah. That's like the same shit yeah. about like how are you not vetting certain people, especially if they're going to like put into effect like policy change oh, yeah. or like they're right. protesting something that like makes you change the entire nature of your business or establishment. Yeah, it's almost like when that happens happens and someone slips through like you kind of don't get to complain about that yeah. that's your fault that's it's yeah kind of like if you like let this white chick come like, through and police department can't prosecute freaking lady tut master like it's just and also it's like it's not like they could change back to winnebago now that this was like a semi-fraudulent like yeah. native indigenous person who came so in my yeah. buddy right he um he is a language like cultural what do you like guy for his Excellent. for his um for his tribe he teaches all like grades, like um, the language to continue the culture. Oh, that's right? cool. I have to ask him if there's some type of like tribe bet vetting. Like if it's like, wait, which tribe are you from? Like, oh, I'm fucking Cherokee. Oh, really? And then it's like, do they all know? Like from different, like I'm Apache, I'm this, I'm that. Or is there like a database? A you know? Even Fei Hung had to show the seal. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it says here. It says here that she came in, she came in, they thought she was authentic, she said how, she had a tambourine, and it just looked all me up and up. She yeah. said how, and she had a tambourine. <laughs> like, she gets I've also heard even guys in the military pretend like they speak Korean and go places too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Snoop Dogg? <laughs> like Snoop Dogg is inside. inside. <laughs> I've seen that, so things slip through the cracks sometimes. They just look crying. Yeah. 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 Remember when in Chris Rock's uh, Bigger Blacker stand up where he's all talking about how he would go to the, the parade? And all the Indians are Puerto Ricans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Puerto Rican when I see one. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they were like, when she was during a bonfire, she was like, everyone's like, how was I supposed to know? That shit looked like smoke signals. Mm -hmm. yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what everyone said. Exactly right. Yeah. But also, I bet this chick, she knows her stuff. Yeah. Usually she, though, oh. she probably knows her stuff more than anyone else. So they're like, uh, yeah. okay, yeah, more come than on in. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, dude. I, I have to, I have to point out that I have no issues with white people joining minority organizations. Thank you. Because they <laughs> probably know way fucking more than the people that are involved. Because the guys that get due diligence, yeah, they're, they're like, right. they really they're know. like fucking. Anthropologists, dude, they yeah. fucking study that shit. Like, I learned so much about Japanese history from Jewish people. Yep. Like, that fucking study the fuck out of it. Yeah. I yeah. learned about Kwanzaa from Rachel Dolezal. See? <laughs> Dan Carlin knows more about the Mongols than any Mongolian person, probably. You know what I mean? And, like, you know, when I say, like, Chinese words <laughs> when I'm speaking English, I say it like the anglicized way, right? Like, I'm like, oh, you guys want, like, chow mein or whatever? Like, white guys that study the language, they'll purposely, like, Hey, would you guys want some chow mein? 
Like they'll purposely like say like, it like that. Nerd. I'm like, dude, you're really into this. <laughs> Sounds like a white guy to me. <laughs> I bet he only dates Asian chicks yeah, too. Yeah, I was just in Mexico, and I just think I don't want to sound like a vacation dad too much, like a tourist asshole who like yeah. got a little book with the fucking translation. So I'm just like, hola. Yeah. Como estas? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't do the, the little flares because yeah, I, I yeah, feel yeah. like a fucking oh, burrito. Burrito. Yeah. Burrito. Burrito. <laughs> burrito. burrito. Piss out of it too. I do yeah. exactly. It feels like yeah. you're making fun of it or something. And you know, I don't know. That's not my jam. Yeah. But you know what though? I think we all need a bit of a white shield in organizations, just like that. We just have to. We need have it back. Yes. Thanks, Steve. Uh, yeah, I the got funny, your front, I guess. The funny thing is that you would think the community for that wouldn't really be that big where you could verify it pretty quickly and be like, yeah. hey, you know this chick? And I've never seen her in my life. Like, what, 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 what accent was that? It's fucking uh, Chief Wampa Hoopa. <laughs> That's uh -oh. Dude, uh -oh. South Park had this whole ass joke where they were talking about like when they're interviewing native peoples. It was just white people with feather in their hair. So good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't too long ago that that was still like, like nobody even batted it off. Yeah, yeah, bro. It wasn't too Dude, long. Dude, now ago. you can't even be a Native American for Halloween's no more. I bet you can still find it. That sucks. Mm -hmm. I bet oh, you can still oh, find it. Yeah, on Amazon. Oh, there's that's oh, still yeah. a top seller. They have, they have top inventory they gotta get rid of, you know. Yeah, they they're not. <laughs> I think yeah. if uh, Prince Harry can be a Nazi. I think that we might be able to at least be John wait, wait, Smith. Wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. You said huh? Prince Harry? Was it he, Prince Harry? He's not a Nazi. He was a Nazi. He was a Nazi, Nazi for Halloween. For Halloween. Take that oh, back, dude. Shit. Yeah, oh, he shit. was, dude. My bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's hey. royalty, man. Come take on. Back, take it back. That's oh, yeah, he's royalty, yeah. yeah. Royal Nazi. Nazi. Yeah, you're right. Was he really a Nazi for Halloween? He was a Nazi with the armband, too. No. What? Yeah, he was a full on Propaganda. Nazi, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. Shit. Yeah, he got a lot of heat for it recently. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's why I'm like, dude, if he could do that. I feel like you could wear a polka on his outfit. Then why are people <laughs> mad that he's shooting Taliban, dude? I know. And he went into the party and he's like, is this Auschwitz? And he goes, ah! <laughs> 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 just fucking rock. And then he go in and he's like, where's the punch? Yeah. <laughs>